This is a video on how to set up the software on your PyBot Fluid C controller. Start by going to PyBot's website, selecting the controller that you purchased, and scrolling down. Here you'll see a link to download all of the files needed to complete the setup. After downloading, you unzip the files and you'll see four folders labeled A, B, C, and D in the order of where we'll need them. In the first one, we have the USB driver so that we can communicate with the device. Next, we have the firmware that will be loaded onto the board. C is the files to complete the web UI. And lastly, we have a test YAML file so you can test the function of the device. Start by plugging in the USB and applying power to the device. To set up the driver, start by going to Device Manager. And under Other Devices, you will see the controller connected to the computer. Right-click and select Update Driver. Then select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Select Let Me Pick. Next. Then click Have Disk. Here you'll browse. And then we will navigate over to our folder and select the driver. The driver will be in the folder labeled A and will be the INF file. Click open, then OK, and then you have to select the file. Next, and now the driver is being installed. You can now close this window and you can close Device Manager. To install the firmware, we go to Folder B, Fluid and C folder, and here are the different types of firmware that we can install. We will be installing the Wi Fi enabled firmware. Double click the file. You may get a warning. Go ahead and run anyway. And now the file is installing the firmware onto the device. Once this is complete, you can then close this window and then cycle power to the device. Cycle power by unplugging the power cable and plugging it back in. Now we are able to connect to the device over Wi-Fi. First, go to the network labeled Fluid NC. The password will be 12345678. After connecting, it should redirect you to the web page to communicate with the device. If it does not, you can go into your browser and type in 192.168.0.1 and you'll arrive at the same page. Here, we want to navigate to the Fluid in C tab and click on the Manage Local Files button. Upload files, and here we'll navigate back to our downloads to the folder labeled C, and then select both files to upload. Now the upload is complete, you may have to wait for the device to refresh or reconnect to the Wi-Fi, but at this point, the files are uploaded. After reconnecting, we can now upload our YAML configuration files. There are two test files. We will be using the one labeled factory test. I did notice there is an issue if the file name is too long, so here we will shorten it. And now we are going to navigate back to our web page, manage local files, and here we can select our YAML test file to upload. Copy the file name, we'll be using this later, and upload. Once this is done, you can then close this page, then scroll down, and then change the config slash file name to the name of our YAML configuration file. Remember to put .yaml and click set. 
Now we must cycle power to the device. After cycling power and reconnecting to the device, go back to the web page and navigate to the dashboard. Here we can send commands to the board using the controls tab and you should be able to see these values reflected onto the screen if you have one with your device. As well as the indicator LEDs above the drivers. The device is now set up. You can now edit the YAML file to fit whatever your needs are and you have a working controller. Thank you for watching.